Good morning. It's windy. You see my hair? We are back out on the porch. That is Bo's happy place. So that's where we are. I'm whitening my teeth. So my teeth look funny, but I'm just hanging out here with Bo, whitening my teeth and just enjoying watching the kids run free. We were supposed to be at baseball today because um, Liam had a tournament, but it got canceled because of the rain and I'm not upset about it at all. So last night, Sam and Liam played baseball for school Look at him. and um, they played one game. They could have played up to four games if they kept winning, but they played one game and they lost, which was sad because, you know, you obviously want to win and do well in the tournament. But they, it took like three hours for one game. And so Lucas went and they got home early, which was so nice. And it was storming. And I couldn't imagine if they kept winning how late. So because of the weather, um, we're home. And it's so nice. And usually in baseball season, that happens where you get a weekend where you were supposed to be at the baseball field all weekend. And then you end up at home. And it's so nice when that happens because it's, just a free weekend that you you had planned to be you know other places which would have been fun like we love watching baseball but to have a home day where everybody can just rest and just be home is so nice like I compare it to you know how everyone is so busy and nobody ever has time to get together as like family like extended family but then like when a funeral happens or a wedding happens it makes everybody get together when otherwise you would have no time to get together it's like you're waiting for um like something to happen to force you to clear your schedules like weather or like a big life event and sometimes Bo has a little cold so he's kind of he's kind of snotty today I think I kind of have a little cold too. My and my throat is just a little bit like I can tell I have a little cold, but I'm not like sick or anything. But so yesterday I talked about homemaking and making beds and just how I love to do things for my family and stuff like that. And it's always met with very polarized <laughs> views. It's like me too and yes, and then there's also ones that are like um, you know, well, what do they do for you or you know, I would do that if my husband was also a doctor or things like that in, um, or, you know, just, just things like, you know, well, you know, what, do, what does your husband do if you're doing all the, the things inside the home, you know, and the point of all of that is just that I feel like sometimes people can keep score in a way in a, in a marriage or in a home where where they look at um, things that they've done and, and then compare it to what everybody else has done. And I think it's natural to do that, to compare and keep score, if you will. But I don't think, just from observation and just experience, that that is the way to happiness in a home. I feel like if you focus on just yourself and your heart and, um, and only trying to please God, that that is the key to happiness because I feel like if you are keeping score um, whether or not you call it that if you say you know I you know you slept more than me or I should take a nap because I do this and this and you do this and this or you have more free time than me or you know you know just whatever it is if, if you keep score in any way I feel like that is a way to not be as happy as you could be if you only focus on your own and this applies to any situation, no matter what profession your husband does. It doesn't matter, you know, how much money they make, how many hours they work, who your husband is, or how many kids you have. It doesn't matter any of those things. I think if, if a person focused on only themselves and in their own heart and just how they can do their role, whatever that is in their home, to please God, please themselves, and have a just happy, content, peaceful heart, I think they would see that the ripple effect is huge. Because if, if they go about their day with a, just a heart of just gratitude and just serving others, then all of a sudden their husband will just respond different. And their kids will respond different. And it's just... And 
I know I'll probably get messages about this too, but that's why I'm loving this, like communicating these things through stories rather than on a post because um, I can I can get this feedback and not have people just like feed on each other the negative. Um, and the flip side, the positive too. I mean, people that agree with this and it's tried and true and, and um, that's encouraging too. And I can then share that um, with others as well. But um, I think if people don't believe this, they should try it for a short time. Just do an experiment and try to, instead of, you know, when your husband comes home or your kids come home, instead of, you know, telling them what they need to do better or differently or more of or less of, just don't worry about it. Just have a heart focused on your your own things that you can control, like, you know, being a happy homemaker or just being a grateful person in your home and watch the river. All right, I think we're about to go inside, but that's just my random random thoughts this morning. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend and that um, maybe your plans were canceled as well and you get to stay home with your family and just kind of enjoy being, being here with each other. All right, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> Annie says, I'll eat it. Pretty good, Sam. It's so hard to control. Yeah. I don't even see it. I know, I can't. I can't figure <laughs> out how to tell the Windy out today, isn't it, Cora? What are you gonna do? Okay. Ride your bike to the shop. Mm -hmm. Be fun. Bye, boys. Bye-bye. What have you guys been doing? Just touching stuff. We got uh, uh, this really beautiful, like, this oh, really wow. beautiful lizard. I think like this blue oh, yeah. stuff on him. It's a big fat one, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. You're going to keep it for two days and let it go? Yep. Good. And then we have some other stuff, but yeah. I can't find it because it buried itself all in the box. Cool. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Say bye-bye, Bo.
But now you hold me in the darkness Hold me till it hurts less you Tell me that I'm alright Show me where the light shines through Please stay with me through the weather An experiment, huh? Nice. Are you recording yourselves doing it? I got a, I got a R out of a O. Yeah. Out of a B, and I got this out of a O, and I yes. got this out of a A. Okay. And then what do you do? So, and then you have to put it in. Okay. And then wait. Yeah. Ta -da. That's amazing. So I have to go let them dry over here, okay? I want to draw my Why are you going to draw another person? Yeah. Make sure you send it to my channel. Yeah. And send me a went off. Camo went off. New pajamas! Cora got these for, for being brave at the dentist, didn't you? Do you like them? And there was a pack of two, so Rosie even got some. That's lucky. Said your pajamas came in a pack of two so that Rozzy could have a pair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, when I sit down, they're tied. Oh, are they? That's okay. We could get you a bigger size. Yeah, I'm tucking you right here. Okay, just unzip it a little bit. <laughs> you guys are silly. a box from beekeepers naturals and I'm excited to open it but before I do I saw the insert that came with it and it's perfect timing because we do have kind of a little cold that's going around here right now and so this is a sinus support collection and it is a nasal spray and also some nasal care sinus support so I'm going to open this up and show you what is inside Okay, so here's what's inside. It is exactly what is on the insert. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these today because it is perfect timing, like I said. We are having a little cold, so the sinus support will be welcome today. And they have the immune support spray and the nasal spray. And here is the insert that tells a little bit about what is inside of each. We always love partnering with Beekeepers Naturals and love all of their products. And I'm looking forward to trying this one today. Like the animals are having a lazy day too, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's Rosie. Wee. Oh, who's that? Is that Evie? Wee. <laughs> okay. There's Cora. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm watching. I'm gonna go. 
Let's get in the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> 